All right, I'm going to give you a few engagement tic- tips as it relates to courageous leadership. Then I want to share one more courage profile with you. And then we might even do just one last quiz question. Engagement tip number one. If you expect people to be courageous, you've got to be a first role model of courage. You've got to be the first one up and off the high dive platform if you're asking other people to get off that platform. I remember one time working with an organization that put time reporting in place and they hadn't had it before. New time reporting system with job codes that they had to have in the time report. But the senior executives were too busy so they had to exempt themselves because our time is in flux all the time. If you want people to get used to changes, you got to do it too. Secondly, give people something to prove. People are hungry for a chance to prove themselves to themselves. I never knew that I could be a high diver. My boss had to believe in that first. My coach believed that I could be before I ever believed it. And then you got to give people a shot. My son came home from school one day. This is how the new book, Leaders Open Doors, came about. My son came home from school, and he, had, he was five years old, preschool, Asheville, North Carolina, where I live. He said, Dad, I got to be class leader for today. And I thought, man, I teach leadership development. I design and develop and deliver leadership programs. Come here, son. You're going to be a leader. How cool is that? So, son, what would you get to do as class leader? I thought he was going to say, well, you know, I lined them up in straight line. I set the direction. We all marched forward, and they were behind me. (laughs) He said, Dad, I got to open doors for people. I got to open doors for people. And if you think about it, the leaders who have made a meaningful difference in, in your life, a difference in your life. When you thought about the opportunity before and you had that one leader in mind, it was somebody who opened a door for you. That's your job too. Give people a chance at proving themselves. They'll step into the responsibility. Thirdly, high five courageous attempts. High five courageous attempts. Don't just look for a successful outcome when they attempt things. What you want to see is, did they attempt it by moving into their zone of discomfort? Did they do something that was really hard and scary for them? Whether or not it was successful or not, did it move them forward by enlarging their capability and capacity to be more courageous as people? And then give them a high five. 